I'm Russell. And Lindy. And we are getting ready to start our office renovation, or my office renovations. Ours. It's mine. So we got the space cleared out. You probably saw some Instagram live shows of us uh, clearing out all the, the treasures. <laughs> we got everything in here purged. We gave away a lot of stuff. We sold a lot of stuff. And we have a toilet flushing in the background. Welcome to life with kids. And a child singing. Lovely. This like, office has never had a door. I've had my office in here since we moved for a year and a half and it never had a door on it. So we're finally going to be putting a door in place and the door is beautiful. Fun fact, this has never had a door and it used to be where we had a freezer when I grew up and stored all the random things we never used. Because if you didn't know, this house used to be long to his parents. Yeah. Okay, so we thought we could talk to you a little bit about the space, what our plans for, and what I'm hoping to get done in the next few weeks. Yeah, so uh, we marked out kind of the limits of the cabinets. So we have three 18 inch cabinets here. It's and we have a whole wall of built in cabinetry. Yeah. And we have tall cabinets here, they're the 30 inch by 90 inch cabinets on either side. And then, uh, so we wanted to, this is going to be a bit of a workspace for Lindy. We're going to have a set of countertop. I think we're actually thinking maybe going with a quartz or granite, something kind of fun. Yeah, some kind of fun countertop yeah. to go here. And we're going to have some Jeffrey Court tile yes. for the, the wall feature. Um, have some floating shelves. And then just because Lindy can't keep it simple and likes making my life difficult, <laughs> she's like, wouldn't two sconces be nice here and here? And I was like, yes. I don't have power. But I've got really pretty sconces. <laughs> so, as Lindy always does, and I say, well, we don't have sconces, and we find sconces, and now I get to run electrical. So, luckily, all my joists in this house run this way, and my furnace room, or my utility room, is on the opposite side. So, I can run all my electrical through the joists and uh, push them into this wall so I can run some sconces. And then uh, we'll put some power outlets. Up here, um, so and a she, switch here for those, for those lights. lights. Yeah, I can't get the switch to this side because I don't want to tear up the ceiling. So we're gonna have some nice crown molding from the tree going all the way along the top. And one of the things we discussed was how high to bring the tile. I really wanted a nice tile background here to give it some character and some texture in the room. But we were debating whether to stop at the top of cabinets or how to stop it considering that we have crown molding coming in and you nail the crown molding in and we can't nail into tile. What I came up with is we want the crown molding to sit and look like it's sitting on top of the tile, but I don't want to bring the tile behind the crown molding. So I'm going to run a strip at the base of the crown molding above and we'll tile up to that strip. And then I can just install the crown molding after and then it will look like the tile flows right up or under the crown molding. Don't do uh, We're going to have a beautiful chandelier here. And then we'll chat with you a little bit about what we're going to do on this wall. On the other side of the room, this is going to be the wall that my desk sits against. Now ideally I would have put my desk in the center of the room, but that would mean I would only have like less than a foot between my desk and the cabinet wall. So that's just not going to work. We just don't have the space for it. Instead, the desk is going to sit where my old desk used to sit against this wall. So you can see here, it's so Lindy's getting a standing desk, so you can have the top of the desk here, or for the vertically challenged, you can have the bottom of the desk sitting here. Um, luckily we have outlets here and here already, which is perfect for desk height. So what Lindy, actually this is my idea, because I've seen some other Instagrammers with it. Um, but, so we have a cubby up here, and I thought it would be a good idea because lighting is really important for photos. So I'm going to install a light bar up here, and then again I'm going to run power, and I can feed it through here, and I can hide it in the back. They always have plugs that she can uh, tie in her lights, or she's putting in video camera equipment. So she'll have a bar here that she can work off of. And then here, because we're doing crown, I have to bring the opening down 7 inches, so then we can run a crown molding. Um, all this molding is going to come off. I'll take this middle bar out and I'm going to do a door that opens, I don't know what the upwards. Door, upwards. And then I think we're going to try and flip hinges. Yeah. Because we're going to have a desk on this wall, 
I really wanted to have something prettier to look at than just a blank white wall. I couldn't really put the desk here because I wouldn't be able to see out the window anyways. And when the desk is at standing height, it's above the bottom of the window frame. So we left the desk over here, and what I decided to do, I looked into some wallpapers and murals, and I'm gonna put a really cool mural on this wall. If you wanna see the design plans or the mural, you can check this link in the corner, and I'll link to the post with all those details. But when we were looking at tile for the space, I really wanted a big, larger tile on the floor, and something that had a little bit more character, than traditional, just like rectangular tile. The larger the tiles, the less the husband <laughs> has to lay. So he was happy with this choice. So I found these kind of hexagon tiles and I really like them because they're large format and they're, they're just, they've got a lot of character to them with the shape. I narrowed it down to the two types, this marble white with this kind of gray veining or this faux wood tile. This one is actually the same tile that we have in our entryway, the same grain. And I really love it in there, and I love how it meshes against our hallway flooring. So I kind of was leaning towards this grain. The only, I love the look of this tile, but I thought maybe it was a little bit too... Bright. Or, yeah, maybe too bright because we're gonna have white walls. But also, I don't know, it felt like bathroomy or kitcheny to me. Like it didn't really feel as much like an office space. I thought that this tile might add a little bit of warmth with the color. And uh, yeah, so anyways, this is the tile that we chose to go with for the floor. So we have a whole bunch of this that's gonna be installed in the next week or two. Yeah, we just have to get uh, this flooring out and then... Yeah, first we have to pull up all the linoleum. Which, that's not the bad part, it's a subfloor under the line that has like approximately a million staples. <laughs> so. so... If anyone likes pulling staples... Come on over! So both of these are Jeffrey Court tiles that are available through Home Depot. So now we'll show you the wall tile. This is the wall that we're going to be putting some more tile on. Because this is my office, I wanted the tile to be a little bit more feminine than something I would usually go for. And Russ is gonna show you the tiles that we picked out to look at for the wall. It's kind of like putting a backsplash up, <laughs> essentially. Uh, they're gonna go over a countertop, up to the ceiling, and I thought both of them had different feminine characteristics to them. Ultimately, I chose to do the scallop one just because it was the more feminine choice to me, and I don't think Russell would want it in any other room in our house. That's it for the tile. I think we've covered pretty much everything. I hope you guys are excited to see this space transform. That's everything. We're pretty excited. It's gonna be a bit of work, but I'm glad I'm not moving the walls, so. <laughs> right on, thanks. Thank you.